Well, hello, Promedia Gear fans. Have you ever wondered what accessories you can use with your Nikon D5? Well, today we're just gonna go over all the stuff Promedia Gear has to offer for this wonderful camera. So whatever I show you here in the, in the following video will also work with the D4 series and the D3 series as they all share the same bodies. All right, well, let's tune in. So we got the Nikon D5 set up here with the L bracket. Um, this is our newest design of these L brackets for this wonderful camera. So let me just go over the features of this L bracket. Okay, so the major feature is that this L bracket is extendable, meaning you can extend these rods and mainly you do that to allow connections to these ports over here. Okay, so when you um, notice you kind of need to keep it there as long as the rods are just outside of that hole okay and then you can tighten it and you tighten it just by using the included allen wrench and then you tighten the other one all right and this keeps it in place now what's the main advantage of using the L bracket when using the L bracket you can mount the camera vertically so over here I'll uh, display it like this I'll show you like that and then so this is just much easier to shoot portraits or vertical uh, images or if you're stu stitching vertical panoramas you do want to have this uh, camera mounted on its side. Okay. So this L bracket here works like I said with the Nikon D5 and also works with the D4, D4S or X and the D3S and X um, because uh, Nikon shares the body design between um, all these cameras. Okay. So if you don't need it extended, you can go ahead and retract it back into the uh, plate. So just loosen this, um, these two screws, and you just push that in. Uh, notice here, I gotta move this strap loop out of the way, and then it's nice and close to the camera body. And then we tighten these screws here. Now these screws here, they hold the vertical uh, piece to these rods. So you wanna make sure these two are tight as well. Okay, before operation and just make sure there you can see them right there okay all right so what else we got on this L bracket we have quarter 20 holes one two three four on the bottom and these can be used for various accessories we also have a strap port we call it the SS2 strap port so uh, you can buy these and retrofit your existing straps and these just pop in like that and they provide a really nice, quick, rapid, secure connection. You just press the button in. What happens when you press the button, uh, the bearings here, um, you know, like uh, contract. And then as, you, as soon as you let it out, there's a piston inside that pushes these bearings out. There's no way, of, uh, there's no way to push these bearings in unless you press the button. Therefore, it's really, really secure. This is like a reverse uh, version of compression type hoses. Okay, so we have that on the bottom here. We call it the SS2 strap port. All right. Let's look onto the side here of the cell bracket. Notice here we have uh, some more quarter 20s, one, two, three to be exact. Now, um, these here, they have anti-rotation pins. So if you put in accessories like our cold shoes, like this cold shoe here. You can match the anti-rotation pin, uh, these pins here with these. And then what happens is that once this cold shoe is mounted, it's not gonna accidentally unscrew on you. So this is a great feature. Uh, these silver mushroom head screws, those are safety stops. Uh, they basically prevent uh, accidental release from Arca Swiss type clamp. Additional feature of this L bracket is that these two holes can be used to mount our A10 snack protector. So what you do here is you plug in your cable and simply make sure that the cable doesn't put any pressure on the port. Just kind of see how it is so it's like no pressure on the port. And then screw these things in, okay? So really quickly you can mount this port protector on this L bracket and this uh, you know this actually reduces any chances of 
of damage from accidental bumps, unless the bump happens directly over here, which is unlikely, and also from tugs. So if you shoot tethered or you shoot video, you know, you can use it for any of these cables here, you know, HDMI, microphone, headphones, or even the network cable. So that's actually a very useful feature of the Zell bracket. So this here is the PAH1. Notice here I put in one of our uh, holster balls on there, and you can mount anything with the quarter 20 on this. You can mount it on this side or the reverse side. It also has room here for a set screw, which would prevent accidental release of this, uh, which is a very, very important feature. So notice our plates have uh, ports on this side. So this can install to any of the sides here. You can install this way or to the back if you'd like this way or this way uh, it's really easy all you have to do is put in two screws through one of these holes there's just some adjustment forward and backward as well so this would work perfectly with our upcoming holster that ball just goes right in here and this just gets locked in okay just goes right in and it gets locked in so one more thing here what I have here is a peak design anchor. Um, you can basically weave that through these holes here, and this would give you, a, this would provide you a, a way of mounting a peak design strap onto this camera. Basically, you would just do this, and then this can exist right here. So another adapter is the PASL3. It mounts to the side of the plates, either in forward or backward configuration. It can mount to the either side here as well. Uh, what we have features of this thing are quarter 20 thread on the front, uh, strap cord for the SS2 type straps, and also has strap loops. So if you want to put in a strap loop here, this is actually really, uh, it's actually a bit nicer strap loop than the one we include with the plates or L brackets. There are just so many things we can use with this uh, bracket plate. Over here I have our famous boomerang flash bracket. So this would just line up with these holes here. And you just use a thumb screw to screw it on. And voila! We have the flash bracket installed. It's that easy, that simple. Um, notice with that flash bracket we have cutouts for these vertical uh, grip buttons. So your hand is free to like uh, to really grab this camera like it's intended to. Uh, it's a low profile plate so it does not interfere with the operations of the camera. Let's take a look here at the boomerang flash bracket. Top view, side view, bottom view. Beautiful. Um, notice you can still have anything on the left side, but the right side is obviously occupied. Alright, well, let's take this off. I'm going to show you some handles. So last product category I want to show you are the handles. Uh, so we have our HB70 handle. This would mount to this left side here. Notice I also installed a cold shoe on top of it. This is a great way to expand on the cold shoe mounting possibilities. And then we're actually prototyping a right-sided uh, right handle. Notice this one is much longer than this one. And obviously this here is a prototype, should be available in a couple of weeks. Just mounts this way here. Still have room to grab your camera. You can actually mount this two ways. You can mount it with the arm forcing forward or backwards. And then you can still access these vertical buttons. The top handle needs a some sort of a natal plate. Uh, so we over here we have a four inch natal plate. And the natal plate mounts into the cold shoe of the camera. So right now you have three handles. You have a top handle and two side handles. So this was this would be great for a video rig. You can hold it like this. Really, really nice and stable. And then you have a top handle. Notice uh, we have an adapter here that um, has multiple quarter 20 threads so you can mount your uh, video lights or cold, sh uh, cold shoes or microphones on this. We can also mount it on this handle as well. Um, both of these handles include uh, threads for the uh, snack protector. 
So if you're running any cables, you can just install that snack protector here. The cable would just run down into this handle and then you will have the snack protection installed right here. Okay, let's take these handles off. Um, I have one last product to show you here for this Nikon D5. Um, that would be our long plate. This could be used for panoramas to find your nodal point to go about the center of the nodal point on the lens. Also what we came up with was this handle with the uh, with the Arca Swiss type clamp on top of it. So you just mount it like that. You have a really nice support if you're shooting with the long lens. You can hold one hand on the trigger. You can hold one finger on the shutter with one hand on the camera and a secondary ca uh, hand on the bottom. This gives you a really nice grip, especially if you shoot with long lenses. Again, this is our handle, C40 clamp, PXC2 plate, and this here is our custom plate for the Nikon D5. So this is it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please comment below. Uh, also subscribe to this channel if you found our products useful. Um, to purchase anything, please head on to promediagear.com or visit a dealer near you. Thank you so much.